As in entry 3, uh, you have to deal with fractions and decimals, I thought we'd stretch a bit and uh, find out why a half plus a fifth is the same as 0 0.7. Fractions are less than a whole number, or less than a, a whole anything. And also, after the decimal point in decimals, that is less than a whole. Before the decimal point, you have whole numbers. After the decimal point, you have tenths, hundredths and thousandths. So, so... 0 0.1 would be one tenth. 0 0.2 would be two tenths. 0 0.5 would be five tenths or a half. If you think of money, uh, 50 pence is a half of a pound and you would write that naught pounds and 50 pence but in decimals we don't normally add the the naught there's no reason why you shouldn't say not naught point five zero or naught point five naught but uh, that's not what the way we normally do it. Now going back to our sum, you've got a half. The half is the same as 0 0.5 because you've got no whole numbers and you've got five tenths. How do we change the f how do you change a fifth into a decimal? so that we can say a decimal number plus another decimal number. Well, one-fifth, how many times you've got the naught point something, and the something is in tenths. And the amount of times at five, one-fifth of ten is two. So that would be naught, one fifth would be the same as naught, no whole numbers, naught point two. So now what we've got is naught point five plus naught point two equals. 0.7. So now you can add them up. You've got 5 plus 2 which equals 7. Then you've got the decimal point and there's nothing, there's no whole numbers so you've got 0 0.7. So you've got your half which is the same as 0 0.5 plus a fifth which is the same as 0 0.2 you've got 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 equals 0 0.7